Hey guys, I'm Alex Dow, and welcome back to 3D Flag Training The Basics. This is video 5, Creating a Dropping Banner. Please open up the video 5 start project file. Even if you just finished watching video 4, go ahead and open up the video 5 start project file. Alright, in video 3, we talked briefly about a quick way to create a banner, but now it's time to do more with it. Let's start by selecting Hanging Banner from our flagpole menu. Next, select the Camera XY Track tool and drag to center our banner in the middle of the screen. Good, now notice we have one cap here to the left, but nothing here to the right. So just like video three, let's change that. Over here in the effect controls, find the bottom cap style and select an end cap that starts with the word banner. How about spike one? Now go to the top cap style and select the same spike one end cap. Great, now it looks more balanced. Next, let's click on this button and jump into our setup window to change the cloth settings. All right, so here in the cloth settings, we're going to start by going into our object controls and selecting the cloth preset stiff flag. Then we want a heavy banner, so we'll increase the cloth weight all the way up to five to make it super heavy. Next, we'll change our edge mass percentage. Edge mass percentage is how your edges react to the wind. So if you have a low number like this, they'll flip around like crazy. But since we're making a stiff banner, we don't want them to flip around much, so we'll increase it all the way up to 1000. Finally, we'll come up here and change our lock points. Notice that the banner is attached to the pole by its corners only. For this banner, we want to change that to all edge points so the banner doesn't have as much droopiness to it. Great, this is looking more like a hanging banner now. The last thing I want to do is have it to start up and then drop down to get our dropping look. We'll do that by going into After Effects by clicking OK, and then come down in the Effect Controls window to Starting Position and select Banner Ready to Drop. Increase Amount to 100 and increase Tightness just a little. Now, when we hit Play, we can see our banner dropping nicely. All right, great, that's it for video five, creating a dropping banner. Stick around for video six, where I show you how to change the springiness of your clock. I'm Alex Dow, and I'll see you soon. Go!